Hi, welcome. We are making new videos because a lot has changed in June 2018 at Linux. We have three major projects today. We have an Arc Linux ISO, we have an Arc Linux D ISO and an Arc Linux B ISO. And that's all explained in this video here. What we're going to make now is a video to replace this one here. So this is going to talk only about Arc Linux ISO. So what we call the big one, two gigabytes. It has three desktop environments. You can take a look at it like this. XFCE, open box, that's right, mouse click. Otherwise you don't get the menu. And that to the right is a conkey. And to the left we have plank for the menu. <coughs> and last but not least, my favorite is i3. It's a Windows tiling manager. It, um, it's, it takes a while to get, you, to get used to, but it's a keyboard shortcut driven system. There is no menu there, there is no start button, and there are no right mouse clicks to have a menu. It's different. So all of these you get in one ISO. You can download them, you have the button da up here to download, but we're going to show you. We loaded it up in a virtual box, and it's uh, version 6.8.2. On the last of the 1st of June, we launched it and we're gonna start it. So, if you count from here, this is the grub, this is what you normally see, and then you be the judge how fast or how slow Arch Linux boots. All right, we're in XFCE. This is our standard go to desktop environment for. Remember, we want you to learn Linux. We want to, to, to make you enthusiastic and learn about Arch Linux, learn about Linux in general, theming, GIMP. Uh, there's nothing that we don't cover. We, we are just creative enthusiasts on Linux. The thing is, we boot into XFCE, and XFCE is a little bit easier in the sense that we have a menu. There is a menu in the left corner. So yes, we can check it out and have a look at the settings and all the programs and the applications are, uh, that are supplied and you probably need to learn a few of them that you've never heard about. So that's good. So you're learning and that's the point of Arc Linux, basically. There's also here this button that you should know. That's the settings manager. So in here we have all the possibilities that you may need or may not need. Uh, anyway, from time to time, we need it. So if you have an issue and you want to give us information, this is a nice little button. So we know what uh, system you're working on. We know you're working Arch Linux, and this one is called Kirk, we're in XFCE. So a lot of information is available if you provide here a copy paste. And in this case, it's Control Shift C and Control Shift V that you should keep in mind. So take a look at all the extra applications since 6.8.2. We have more icons in here, so uh, it's getting used to getting uh, used to for the guys that are already Arco Linux users since months or years even. Okay, so the settings manager, great. What's also fun? Fun is the conkeys. Uh, the conkey is something you put on the side somewhere that uh, shows some information about your system, like uh, Arco Linux is the one I usually take to show you some information about your system. So this is now um, some information about the uptime, SSD, how much I use, packages, upgrades. We can upgrade the packages, he says. So yes, that's true, 173 available updates. And we have here all kinds of information, okay. That said, this is one desktop environment, the XFCE desktop environment. You can easily switch without needing to, uh, losing any information or, or settings and all that. You log out, you're on the same computer, the same uh, applications, and here, up here to the right, you go to, for instance, Openbox as first one. Type in your password. And there we go. We are in a completely different world. world. There is no start at the bottom we have still the plank and that's why it's on the left here and also in xfc so it's in an, in every desktop environment it should be it's, it will be at the same place and that's why we put it to the left because up here is indeed a menu and well it's some kind of menu you see 
a panel. And this panel gives us one, two, three, four workspaces. You see it here in the middle. Now, we don't have a menu, but if we press the right mouse click, we do have a menu. We can go to the terminal and see what version we are, etc., and do our updates. By the way, which is PKSUA. It's good that you see it already now in the video. So, um, this is open box, right mouse click. We have all the information here available. All the applications are here again. If you want a conkey, then you can add a conkey here as well. Preferences for all kinds of applications are in here. Some system, system settings and so on and so on. Lots of these uh, elements are explained in information about this release. Need to know, it will point you to the website. So do check it out. There's a lot of information uh, on the website and you scroll through it and you see uh, all the information where 90% coming from Arch Linux packages in the graph, you can see that. But lots of information, you read it, right? So this is open box and you can say, okay, let's exit this thing, log out again. And then we still have a third one. So we have here i3. And i3 is a little strange in the sense that, well, you have a workspace. Here's number one. And we could go or navigate to number two and press some buttons, which I don't see what I'm pressing, but I can press another button and I can say, go to workspace number three and start their Firefox and so on. So all the things are possible, but it's a Windows styling manager. If I press some key combinations, which will be explained in other tutorials, there you go. We have now a tiling uh, window manager and it, it's neat because you don't need to make um, the windows bigger or smaller in position to the left and position to the top. That's why it's called the tiling window manager. It tiles it for you. So if you want to get back out, we have made a conkey which is not necessary in any of the tiling window managers. But it's this thing here that's here for you. So super plus X, which is Windows X, super. And then you get this red thing down here. And let's log out with an L and we're out of there. And we can back, go back in in XFC, for instance. And now you've made the complete tour. So one big ISO with lots of software. And the software, software we like, the software we use. And then three desktops to learn from. All right. Cheers.